Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Monday, December the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Looks like we're going to have one ingredient for a white Christmas. That is cold weather, but no moisture. Oh, well, maybe next year. There's a look at the SkyCam network for Birmingham or from Birmingham. And uh, we certainly have a, a bit of clouds over the area. And then there's a look at Demopolis. And once again, we can see a uh, a cloud deck over the area. The uh, rain has moved on out finally. The frontal system that has brought the rain and finally the colder air is uh, moving along the southeast coast of the U.S. and into the Florida Peninsula and high pressure from the Dakotas is settling in and that is bringing some chilly air. We can see the uh, upper flow is this trough that we've been watching for the last several days that continues to be just to our west. That trough will finally come through, and that will allow temperatures to drop into the 20s for lows on Tuesday and Wednesday morning. As a matter of fact, Christmas morning, it looks like 22 could be the morning low. That means some spots getting into the teens. It is very cold under the surface high up over the Dakotas with some values this morning in the minus 20 range. So very, very cold. Haven't looked up the wind chill, but that's got to be pretty pretty cold. Uh, we don't really have wind chill problems down here in central Alabama, but temperatures have dropped about 10 degrees since last night around 10 o'clock. Uh, we're in the mid-40s for the most part, although I see Aniston's at 52 still. But it looks like with that northwesterly surface low, we're going to see temperatures change very little today, and maybe we might struggle to see highs around 50 degrees. The number of winter weather advisories has begun to come down. Uh, we're still dealing with some of those green flood uh, advisories uh, over the central section of the country from northern Arkansas up into the eastern Great Lakes. And uh, still a few winter weather advisories in northern New England and some in the northwest part of the United States. QPF-wise, not much rain expected as it looks like for the upcoming next five days. We're going to be basically dry dealing with a number of reinforcing cold air situations with dry fronts. And the Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any areas for severe weather, no organized severe thunderstorms. All right, the 06E GFS model run. There goes our front, the high settling in. This is the surface map for today. And in the upper atmosphere, that big trough continues to move ever so slowly our way as it approaches the Mississippi River. The trough should come by uh, tomorrow morning. And as that does, it'll, of course, open the way for the surface high to settle in, and that brings some cold air down our way. And again, Tuesday morning, we'll be, be down in the mid-20s, lower 20s in some of those colder spots. Christmas Day, we see that uh, another reinforcing shot of cold air is coming down the pike as another trough is coming in to the western Great Lakes area. And uh, that trough expected to uh, come through on uh, the day after Christmas, the 26th. And uh, still a series of those troughs in the flow. And so uh, by uh, Friday, we see another solid one coming in. And that one will be bringing a substantial front that will help to reinforce things. And uh, even though on Saturday it shows uh, a substantial trough over the southeastern U.S., the atmosphere is very dry. And the bottom line is I don't think we're going to see anything in the way of um, Significant moisture to create any precipitation. It looks like it'll be uh, a dry situation. We may see some passing clouds, but otherwise just uh, temperature staying at or below the seasonal values for this time of year. By Sunday, we uh, see that we still got the pretty much the long wave trough position over uh, the central and eastern part of the country, so we're going to stay fairly chilly. And when we get out to the end of the period a week from uh, today, uh, at midday, we can see a nice uh, sharpening up of the of the major trough, the long wave trough over the eastern half of the country. And so once again, notice the 540 thickness line coming down, oh, about into the vicinity of Clanton. So uh, it looks like we're going to enter uh, or end 2013 on a bit of a chilly note. Now we're going to enter 2014 on a chilly note. As you can see, the GFS continues to uh, stick with the solution of uh, major trough uh, over the eastern half of the country. So that uh, that is beginning to look a little bit wetter, though, because we're tapping into some southwestern moisture coming out of the Pacific uh, with uh, the high amplitude 
uh, trough, and that high amplitude trough is uh, stays with us to the seventh. So it does look like for the first uh, week or so of 2014, it does look like we're going to see some cold weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'll expect to have the next one posted uh, Tuesday morning by 8 a.m. or so. Uh, remember, we're on a one-a-day schedule for Christmas week uh, till the first of next year. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>